Hello Capricorn Aquarius. This is going to be a reading for cuspers. Cuspers are people who have birthdays within three days of the signs changing. So please remember there's no way this can connect to every single person who views it out there. I read the cards and you decide if and how it applies to you. So feel free to vice versa masculine feminine energy on the cards as well as um, if a card I'm saying it applies to you and you feel like it's somebody else, feel free to switch that. So I read them and you decide how they apply. So the oracle cards are here which are all for you and the tarot cards over here which are the energies around you but you'll show up over here more than likely. So let's get started. Thank you for all the support on the channel too. I appreciate it. Thank you. So blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. So somebody is blaming you and that is a tough one to deal with when people blame you for something that you didn't do so perseverance I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to so this blame has made you stronger it has made you heal from something I feel like it hurt your heart and excuse me but it has made your pride and your self-esteem go up more because you know you didn't do what somebody blamed you for so the next one is indecision I use my intuition in all aspects of my life so I feel like you use your intuition so I feel like somebody couldn't make a decision and then they came back and blamed it on you for what they did and you totally know that's not you and you're kind of shocked that somebody did that is what I'm feeling. So let's go on. The next one is star. This is beautiful. So this says that you are putting your energy into yourself. You know your worth. You know where you can go in life. And you are putting all your energy into you. This is Aquarius. So you're trying to build yourself up again and move away from whoever this person was. So the next one is Six of Cups. So Six of Cups is moving forward after a change, going forward with abundance and happiness. And I feel like somebody is watching you through this change. Somebody is hiding in the background, just watching what you're doing. And I'm not sure why, but we'll figure it out. So King of Wands is somebody who, again, is watching you. But this King is a planner. He's an organizer. He wants to be the action king he can do all sorts of things so I don't feel like it's him watching you maybe somebody related to him is watching you so balance this is Libra so things are going to balance out in your favor so two of pentacles two of pentacles is juggling so this could have been this person juggling two people this could have been you having two decisions to make and you're unsure like do I take this job do I take that job do I move here but I am kind of feeling like this person may have been juggling and this is why they were watching you because they were juggling so take what situation applies to you so the devil is Capricorn placement but this is usually toxic energy so addictions lying manipulation narcissists the Hierophant. Wow. So this is a couple things. This could be marriage, divorce, legal courts. It could be school, college. It also could be somebody's spirituality. Somebody is really high in their spirituality. There's no way they could be around this toxic energy. The two don't mix at all. So judgment. Somebody decided to make a judgment call because their spirituality, I feel, did not mix with this toxic energy. There's no way they could live with that in their life. So the next one is King of Cups. So King of Cups is usually somebody who is a king of love but in this deck to me he's a plotting king, a negative plotting because he has his hands together like he's plotting and thinking and usually the King of Cups offers the cup. In this deck he doesn't offer it. He entices you to come get it. So this makes me think this person is going over the Two of Pentacles where they really plotted brought toxic energy and tried to make you think that they loved you but they were just out for themselves. So Princess of Pentacles is you. I feel like you stand proud in your honesty and your self-worth. You have many directions to go. The sun is bright with all the rays here and you are very proud. You are good at bringing the coins to you as well. 
So five of cups, somebody is regretful, somebody is regretting how they treated you, what they did. They're feeling remorseful now. You could have ghosted this person. Temperance, wow. So this is the universe getting involved. This could mean that you two had a past life connection with the water here, the rainbow and the wings. I feel like you were supposed to teach this person a lesson in this life. And there's so many hard lessons to learn. And we don't understand why some people come into our life and other people don't stay that we want to stay. But I am feeling strongly that you could have had a karmic relationship in a past life with this person. And you came into this life to balance that out and release that energy and move on. So Ten of Pentacles tells me you are going to have victory and success. You are going to move forward with victory and you're going to be successful in your coins and your stability. But you have perseverance up here and intuition, so I already see that. So the next one is Five of C. Somebody's pride and ego has been hit. And I feel like it's hit too late. Somebody's pride and ego balanced out or they're feeling it now because they got caught, so to speak. Fire Tom is somebody who takes chances, who does things that they don't care if there's consequences. They don't care if it hurts other people. So lovers, this is Gemini placement. This is lover, a lot of passion. I feel like this person took your energy like they were trying to heal when you were together. So yeah, five of Earth, they regret it. So we have two cards of them feeling left out in the cold. Them watching you. I feel like they're watching you. They miss your loving. <laughs> so this is Ace of Earth. This is abundance. This is somebody who misled you in abundance though. It's a, like a family structure, the tree of abundance. But because it has the mushrooms right there, I feel like somebody misled you. So yeah, Ten of Fire, you're done with that. The chaos and drama is over. You have exited the building. So the next one is Three of C. So I feel like you have friends around you that you go to for support that try and ease your stress over this or you're thinking about it a lot. Seven of C is denial. So I feel like some of your friends were in denial about this. Some of your friends didn't even see this, I feel. And they still could be in denial about it. So I don't know if some of your friends took this person's side or what. But that's kind of what I'm picking up a little. So then you have Eight of Fire. You have Blame Twice. Wow, this is pretty cryptic to me. So yeah, somebody is blaming you. And I feel like it's one of your friends. I really do. One of your friends is blaming you for something that happened. Shame on them is all I can say. And then you have seven of earth. So this again is you being misled. You being the same as this one. So twice we have two blame cards and two of you waiting for something that was coming that somebody was lying about. They were giving you an illusion. So earth Tom is the universe sending something in or somebody to help you. They're taking you over this crack in your whatever this was. Here's a tree of abundance and they're going to put you on this side and leave everything else over here. So the universe is supporting you. And that person will have consequences for their actions. They are going to have consequences for what they did to you and if there's a friend going against you that person is going to have consequences as well for doubting you and blaming you. Ouch. Wow. Pretty heavy. Alright, so the Oracle of V now is from scratch six. So you are going to start all over going towards your happiness. You're going to start. So this is six is five is change and six is moving forward from that change. So you are going towards your sun. Time to fly. 44 is a master number. So I do feel like you are going above the darkness. You're flying above the darkness. I'm out of here. I'm gone. So your perseverance and your intuition is taking you towards your sun and you're going over the darkness. 44 is a really good master number. It usually means mastery of something. You've mastered something, whether it's going towards your happiness or figuring out this betrayal. Leaping in love, number seven. So love is going to come full circle for you again, where you will be happy and you'll find somebody more deserving of your love.
So the next one we have is Whispers of the Ocean you have in the light of the moon. A full moon can shine light on what you have been resisting. This can be anything from your fears to your soul's beauty. So because the orca is up above the water and the moon is reflecting, moon is usually secrets, but this is like a sun moon. It's so bright. So I feel like you are going to rise up out of your emotions and you're going to be happy again and your light is going to shine bright. Again, it looks like the sun. See the sun there and the sun there. The next one is Blend into the Environment 36. You have many skills and can fit into any situation. Take time to assess what is going on around you and adapt accordingly. So this tells me that you can lay below the radar, so to speak. The octopus can fit into um, little objects it looks like it couldn't fit into. It can make itself be the color of the scenery around it. So you, are, you have skills that can help you adapt to many situations to where people wouldn't even notice looking at you you have all that skill set and I feel like it has something to do with your intuition your perseverance and that once you get in a bad situation or something not right you can get yourself out of it you have that kind of skill set and people are shocked or maybe your friends like they're shocked that you knew something was going on I'm not really sure with that so High Priestess, harness your mystic power. So this talks about the Black Cat Bast, which is you're protected from the universe. I see the Metrodon symbol in there, the wings, and the tattoos remind me of like ancient Greek times. So I do feel like you have knowledge from your past life that has came into this life with you. I really do. I'm getting heavy. There's a karmic situation. This person in you had karma to clear, whether it's one of the friends or that person or both. You had karma to clear in this life. So stag, trust and thrive. So this talks about you're protected by the universe. You're transforming and you're going to have abundance. Trust the universe sees that you completed that responsibility of clearing out that karmic energy and now you have released it and you're going to move forward. I feel like again you're going to have abundance come to you and it's all from releasing this karmic energy that you were meant to come down here and release is what I feel. So thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Bless you.